In this video, we'll review the Zenduit GoTrax Google Play and App Store app. This is a mobile app that's installed on your phone to track your vehicles uh, installed with GeoTab. So let's get right into it. Simply download and install the app and you're ready to get started. When logging in, enter your GeoTab username and password. If you wish to speed up the login process, you can simply check off Choose Database. Uh, or if you're assigned to multiple databases, this will be something you'll need to do. So double check that and simply log into your database. Once logged in, you'll see a list of your vehicles in your fleet. It'll, this list will give you a location as well as the current status of the vehicle. So you can look reading at the top, I can see Dave, the F550 is stopped for two hours at the Simard location. Uh, and she's part of the group of Rexdale. So let's go into one of these drivers. I want to look at Ken today and what uh, what where his current status is. So you can see through when selecting Ken, I can see the location, how much fuel Ken consumed today, as well as the diagnostic faults and trip history. So starting uh, by looking at the location, simply clicking up the locate button, you'll see the location of as well as all any geo zones that, that the vehicle is located at right from within the GeoTab database. Now you can change the, the view to a satellite view by clicking the button up in the top right corner. You can also share the location uh, by clicking on the share icon which will open up the sharing menu options as well. So you can see that right here. Going back I can go back to my trip location or back to the vehicle simply by clicking on the back button down in the bottom here or I can see the trip. So let's just go through each one of these menu items first. Under fuel you can see the actual fuel that was consumed uh, and the distance. So I know that Tuesday and Wednesday this driver what each what the distance on each day was. Here I can actually take a look at fuel used. I can see how much fuel was consumed each day as well as any idle fuel if that information is available and the fuel economy on each of these on each of these vehicles. So this is just for the week you can see I can go back to a previous week and I can get the fuel economy uh, and information for the previous week as well. Right? And you can see the total fuel used in the previous week as well, as well as the total distance driven. Going back again, I can see the diagnostic faults on the vehicle today. So this gives you a summary of the vehicle information, including VIN, license plate, any information that you've put in, as well as any information it's picking up directly from the diagnostics. So engine, you can see that there's a oil change interval warning on this, as well as a low priority warning light. So maybe a vehicle I need to take into the shop. And again, these are the faults that are showing up on this vehicle uh, this week here as well. So going back here again, I can see the trips history, simply going down to the trips history. And it's pulling up the full trip history you can see right here on the map for the whole day. And you can see the whole leg of the trip uh, is about 125 kilometers, as well as the uh, the start and end time for today so far. Uh, I'm also able to pull up any faults that they're breaking along the way that you've set up in your GeoTab database, as well as what trips they made. So if I want to take a look at one specific trip to this particular customer here, um, we can kind of have a look right there at that customer. And I'm looking at two trips right here, but you can see that's between stop four and five. And looking in, I can see the actual trip that they've made. Right? I can actually use the buttons on here to kind of skip through trips simply by clicking on the, the next button here. And I can go along. Um, going back to the settings button, I can uh, log out, I can use metric or imperial. If I want to go back to change the vehicle, I would simply click up to the top left where it has that vehicle change icon, and I can simply change up to another vehicle that I want to have a look at. And that's a brief summary of the GoTrax uh, Android application. Uh, this application is also available on the Play and App Store. So check it out. Uh, there's no cost to it. We'll be releasing a premium version which will have messaging components built into it. Uh, but this application is currently free to use. Alright, thanks for attending this demo.